Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel or welcome to my channel if it's the first time you're visiting. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you haven't already guessed by the title, today I'm going to be filming another video with my best friend Tori. Say hello. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> and if you haven't already guessed by the title, today I am going to be blind reviewing six of the new fragrances in the new 12 Days of Harrods fragrance calendar and I am super excited to do this video because one I didn't manage to actually get my hands on this calendar it sold out super quickly Sorry, babe. and yeah Tori <laughs> managed to get her hands on it so she kindly brought it over and we thought it would be really fun for her too and I'll let you finish this bit so I have basically picked out six fragrances some that I feel like Hayley's probably already aware of some that maybe she's not um I've tried to be as strategic as possible with this. I'm trying not to give too much away, but basically I want you to blind test them uh without knowing what they are, without knowing all of the notes. Because mm -hmm. I feel like this one's something else when it comes to notes. No pressure. Um so yeah, no pressure, but I also want you to pick out of the six. I've picked so half of the 12 days of Christmas. My true um, love day for me. <laughs> um, so I've picked out the six and I want you to also, not only do I want you to go through all of them and see if you can guess, mm -hmm. I also want you to pick out what you think is my favourite and my least favourite. Okay. I like to multi-layer these things. I definitely feel a little bit of pressure because I know maybe one or two fragrances within this calendar. However, the other ones I definitely wanted to try and there's some that have been on my wish list but I've never tried before. So I'm really curious which six fragrances Tori has picked out. But yeah, I think it's quite fun that I'm going to be guessing the notes and seeing my first impressions too. So. Yes, I, am. I, yeah. I have to admit, if you see me put out this little card, it's because I can't remember which number is which. <laughs> um, but without further ado, shall we start with a little wafty waft? Okay, so, so this is number one. The numbers there are just for me. Fragrance number one. I already got a waft of that. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's very nice, very pretty. Can you give me a note? Not that I can tell you. <laughs> it's very sweet, but also very floral. Spring? It's more spring summer to my nose. I feel like it's got a herby note in there too, but I might be making that up. But there's a very prominent fruity note in there and I can't quite place it. It's not super unique, but at the same time, I absolutely love it. Just need to caveat, this is a problem. This is a problem? This is a problem. Why is it a problem? Oh, she likes it then. Keep going. I'll tell you what the problem is shortly. I have nothing else to say. <laughs> Would you buy it? Yeah. But well, we are going to buy it then, because you haven't got it in your collection. Okay, I haven't got it in my collection. I do think she might end up making me purchase one of these. I really like it. It's not, again, it's very, I'll say, it is, it's very kind of, um, I think it's almost like a holiday sweet. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, it is very sweet. I don't think, think it's not winter scent. It's not winter. I don't think it's super unique, but at the same time, I really enjoy it. I'd be curious to try this one on the skin because we all know that fragrances pull a little bit different on there skin is, chemistry. There is something. Yeah, I know what note you're talking about. Was it when I was saying fruity? Mm. Do you oh, know what it is? No, I wish I did. You wouldn't let me have my phone with me, so I couldn't even <laughs> research anything. When you tell me what one it is, I might have a better idea. But Do you want me to tell you? Let me smell it one more time. Can you guess? Because you know what majority of them are in there. It could be the um, Tamine Sparkling Opal, or maybe it could be the Flora Iku Umbrella for Two. One Umbrella for Two? Two Umbrellas for One? Da -da 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 -da. Is it that one? One for oh, Two, yeah. Yeah, I really wanted yeah. to try this one. I know, I know how much you wanted to try it, so that's why I said it's a problem, it's because I feel note. like you might end up buying it. I think it's a blueberry note in there. Is it blueberry? I think it has blueberry. I think They're all going to be shouting in the comments. It could be raspberry, but I think it's actually got a blueberry note in there, but I might be making We'll be doing the research afterwards. Yeah, sorry if you're shouting at the screen. Um, I can't remember the notes off the top of my head. I haven't done that much research, but I really like it. Okay, let's move on to number two then. Right. This yeah, is exciting. It's weird doing like her first impressions of something I don't know that much Especially about. because I think you automatically often have preconceptions yeah. about what you like, what you don't like, especially if you already know what the notes exactly are. I like this one too. <laughs> Do you have a preference other two so far? They're different. They're, okay. they're very different. Interesting you say that. 
So this one isn't like very sweet. It's it's got a sweetness to it, but it's not like a sugary, fruity sweet. It's it's a bit woody. I would wear this more in the autumn winter to be honest. I think it's got musk in there. But it smells like a woody, musky, slightly sweet. So weird doing it this like reverse way around. I'm so used to I'm, no. It's not. I'm so used to you telling me. Oh, it's this. It's that. It's that. Or like, questioning me on things. So I think I've smelt this before. Though. I really like it. It's very woody. It's kind of like it's yeah, very woody days. When the grass is children. I'm trying to think what that is <laughs> within the calendar. My home team. This is a uh, to me. Oh, is it? Yeah. Okay, that's, and that's why I said. Different. Yeah, that's why I said. Oh, interesting. So obviously, you at first thought that it was one or the other in the first one, but they are very different. That scents, smells aren't different they? on paper. That smells that's so much okay, sweeter. Let me it up. I was. Yeah, to me, sparkling opal. I, I do like, like it. I like. I think it's it. lovely. Again, I think it'd be interesting how it sits on skin. Yeah, we need to try all these on the skin. Of course, it's just literally a first impression on paper. Ping. Number three. Yeah, number three. When I keep looking away, I am just checking my card just to see, you know, for sure. Oh, yes, 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 yes. Mmm. Ah. Mm. Mm. Floral. It's a, it's a more of a mature floral, which is not my vibe normally. I think it's got tuberose in there, potentially, which is a note I don't enjoy. It's not for me. I don't like it. Something else. Do you know what it's got an undertone of? Go on. Play Doh. Oh, maybe it's got almond in there. I know what you mean. It's got, ah, oh, I feel really bad. It's got like a synthetic kind of vibe to it. Any ideas on what it Very is? Very white floral. I'm trying to think what's in the calendar. The only ones that I know I've definitely not smelled are the Bode, Bodacia ones. Is it one of those? Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah. Yeah, so that one was bravery. Nah. I'm sorry, I do not like bravery. Number four. Hmm. It's not a massive love. Oh, my hair, I can just see it flowing away from this heater. <laughs> oh, we forgot to turn the heater off. It's here. Reset. It's nice. I'm not in love with it. It's nothing special. Oh no. <laughs> yeah, it's nice. There's nothing that I can really distinguish as such. It's just a scent. It's packed. You've been it's, sniffing for a while, girl. It's a little bit woody, a little bit powdery. It's got a tiny bit of floral in there, but. It's nice, but I like it. It's nothing that I would personally purchase. Hopefully, I don't already I think it's own it. It's a very clean smell. Yeah. Yeah, it's very clean, very fresh, very elegant, but it's nothing wow to me, personally. Yeah, it's not a standout, but I do think it's nice. It's a uh, Diptek. Oh, the Diptek Optus. That's the one. Yes. Diptek. 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 <laughs> yeah, Diptek. 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 I actually quite like it, to be fair. Um, Oh, that surprises me because I sampled that in store. In I know, Paris. and you kept saying when I had it, oh, you've got dip tech, didn't you? Dip tech, I'm going for dip tech. She's got dip tech. Yeah. <laughs> um, I, I, yeah, I think it's quite nice. I love the bottle of the Opsis, um, but I sampled it in store and I liked it, but not so much then, so okay, interesting. Well, at least that saved you some money. <laughs> True. I would have, like, blind purchased. Well, it's not blind purchased, but I probably would have purchased that. Anyway, number five. Hmm. I'm not so impressed so far. It's another floral. Hmm. It's another floral fragrance that I think is a little bit indistinguishable. <laughs> it's nice, but it's it's not original. She's savage today. Yeah, it's just a bit like meh. Like I've smelled it before or smelt this um, profile before. It's nice, don't need it. There's a nice note in there though. There's a sweetness, there's almost like an almondy tonka vanilla 
vibe going on, but it's very floral at the same time. Sure. No. So this is what I actually said I really liked, although oh, I am yeah. slightly changing my mind, but I still like it. I just wouldn't buy it. Which one was that? I don't know what else it is. Uh, this one was the Tiziana Terenzi La Superba Rossa. I don't know. On the bottle, it said like Harrods. Yeah, it's and a Harrods I, exclusive, I yeah. think. I, I did find it quite different. Did it say the notes on here? It's the rose no, one, right? It's the soapy rose. Really it's definitely a soapy rose. Nothing special, sorry. I, I really liked it when I smelled it out of the bottle, but now I'm smelling it a dry down on here. I am a bit... Because mm. I even just smelled that I love it, but now I'm... I think it's really difficult sampling fragrances on paper. You definitely need to do it on the skin. So yeah, please take it with a pinch of salt when I'm saying I don't like something because of course I've not tested it properly. This is just a first impressions and it is just for fun. Last one? Last one. Number six. Yes. I've not been too impressed so far, sorry. My bad. I only spent £150 on this. <laughs> Anybody who didn't get their hands on it is currently going to be quite proud that they saved their money at this point. Okay, number six is nice. It's very subtle. Maybe it's because my nose is like burnt from the other five. This is really pretty. I'd say it's very elegant. This is more of a soft, sensual scent. I'd be curious how this projects on the skin because it does smell very soft, like I mentioned. There's something in here that I really, really love. I don't really know what notes I'm smelling though. It's definitely a bit musky, maybe a tiny bit woody. I'd say, let me give it one. I might have not been quite so generous, I think. Yeah, it's beautiful. I'm not sure what it is. I would definitely want to try this one on the skin, but it's a beautiful scent. This is Louis Rouge by Louis Rouge. Okay, Louis Rouge is very high on my wish list. Is it still as high after that little sniff sniff? So Louis Rouge has cardamom and iris in there. And you are a bit cardamom girl. Right? And this is quite a subtle scent from what I've heard anyway. But yeah, I definitely want to try this one on the skin. It is beautiful. Okay, so my favourite is number one, which was the Flora Poo. Yep. Um, one one umbrella for two. two. Beautiful scent. I don't think that that was your favourite though. I think your favourite was maybe initially the Tiziana Terenzi Rossa one. However, that has changed. Okay, yeah. And uh, yours has maybe changed to the same as mine, which is the one umbrella for two? No. Oh. I don't think so. No, I didn't. Or maybe yours was number two. No, no, don't think a second. <laughs> maybe number two is your favourite now. Yeah, do you know what? I do actually really like number one. It's still very, it's, it's not quite the season for it. What was number two again? Number two was to me. To me, my least favourite was the Bodacia one, which I think was probably it your. It smells of Play Doh. Was that, that, that was number three? Yeah. yeah. Yeah, it smells of Play Doh. It has, the more it's settled, the stronger. It's not strong particularly, um, but for me, it's very much a Play Doh scent. There's white florals. It's in not it. bad, it's just not. Not your vibe. Great, yeah. So we've got the same least favourite. Yeah. Oh, wait. Hmm. That's something I was thinking of. Wait, what was this one again? Dipped cube? Dipped tea. Dipped tea, <laughs> dip tea cops, I did say dipped tea, didn't I? Dip this is starting cups. to smell nicer. I know. That's what I just thought. I just thought I'd have another little quick sniff. And I'm like... No, I like dipped tea. That's probably mm, mm. second or third favourite from the list. Yeah. I think it's quite... We both have the, quite a clear... But the Bodacia Bravery is my least favourite. Yeah. Or Bodacea. I'm sure someone knows how to pronounce it here, so please feel free to pop it in the comments. I know some of you do that anyway. Bodacia. Yeah, Bodacia the Victorious, actually, if we get the full It's name. probably Bodacia, isn't it? Okay. Cool. Let's grab the calendar again just to show everyone it in its full glory because it is beautiful. This is the 12 Days of Harrods Fragrance Calendar. It sold out super quickly. I wonder my if we can open it. My true love myself gave to me. Twelve fragrances and a partridge in a pear tree. I think you can tell we're both amazing singers. Yeah, I will invoice. And this has some incredible fragrances in there. It has a 30 ml Roger fragrance. It has a 35 ml Mason Francis Kirk Dijon fragrance. 
It has extra Do healing. Do remember all of the other ones? Because I thought we needed to do this part too. Okay. It has oud for greatness. Sorry, I had to throw that in there. I mean, oud for greatness, you can smell that from about five miles away. So uh... so there is like four fragrances I know I love in there. So it was quite interesting, actually, that you pulled out those six. So I think it was a great choice, to be honest. I really want to thank Tori for coming back and doing a video with me. Obviously, I love her to pieces and you seem to love her too. So yeah, very, very great. Thanks for my fans. Thanks for my mum, my dad. <laughs> thank you so much for joining us today. I really do hope you enjoyed the video. 